Both Sephora and Ulta decided to have sales at the same time, which is fine by me. <laughs> Some products uh, were available on both Ulta and Sephora, so I opted to go with if I could get at Ulta because it was 20% off, and then Ulta's point system is redeemable for cash, so I'm all about building up those points. <laughs> um, I did purchase a couple things um, in addition too because the Sephora VIB sales, uh, the Rouge, I think, started up again yesterday, so I put in an order. Um, the new Kat Von D brow products dropped, so I got a couple things from there. So I'll probably have to haul that next week, but um, I missed like two weeks of filming. I just don't know where time goes because it really doesn't feel like it's been that long, but literally like two weeks. <laughs> so my apologies for that, but let me go ahead and haul the stuff that I purchased during the Ulta sale, sale and also the Sephora sale so far. I'll go ahead and start off with the things that I purchased from Ulta. I did go ahead and purchase this Butter London Glazen Smooth Silk Shadow Palette. I was kind of intrigued by it, it was all like a shimmer palette. I was thinking they were going to be a little bit more foiled than they actually look, um, but the packaging is a hard plastic and I like the little motif on the cover. There are seven shades in here and they're 0.05 ounces a piece. Um, these are a little bit drier and chunkier feeling than I had anticipated them to be. They still look pretty, but I was expecting just a little bit more from. These darker shades show up a little bit more like metallic than the lighter shades. But let me give you some swatches again there's the packaging is super cute packaging on this guy these lighter ones are are more sheer than i had thought they would be and then these darker ones do swatch a little bit more metallic but it does have the name smooth and i think they could be just a little bit smoother <laughs> feeling cuz they some they're a little bit yeah, a little bit chunky. So there are the shades in that guy right there. I was expecting a little bit more, but I do need to play around with it some more as well. Then I purchased another one of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Custom Coverage Correcting Duos in pink. This one, I didn't open it yet, um, but I really like this. It's kind of taken over on the Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in pink that I've gone through, I think, four tubes of that. Um, this one, it's a little bit deeper in color, which has been working well since I've been kind of wearing a little bit deeper foundation color. Um, and I've been enjoying mixing this with the Milk uh, Concealer in Fair, and it kind of works out nice. That's what I have underneath my eyes today. The Milk gives this here a little bit more coverage, and then this gives the Milk a little bit more pinkness to it. So uh, this comes with uh, two sides. One is a full covered side and the other one is a light covered side. I do use the full covered side more than the light, but I do, I mix them sometimes too. The, the full comes with a doe foot and then the light side comes with a brush, but I really like the formula of this. It'd be nice if uh, Estee Lauder just came out with this in a concealer, but again, I can just keep purchasing this guy because it's working out pretty good. So this is the sh the one in pink. I really like it. I like to wear it on, on its own and I also like to mix it. I've been setting my under eyes with the RCMA No Color Powder with the Milk and then the Estee Lauder and I don't have like any creasing. It doesn't like go up into my fine lines and stuff. So I've really been enjoying that concealer mixed with Milk with the RCMA powder. <laughs> it just looks really pretty. Then I was excited to see this new product from Tarte. It's the Shape Tape 12 Hour Eye Primer Stick. And I had purchased their clay primer stick that came out a while ago. They've, I think, since discontinued it. And I had actually depotted it so that I could use my finger to put it on because I felt like going like this with the stick on my eye was a little bit too, it like grabbed my skin and tugged on it a little bit too much. So I wasn't quite sure what to expect with this guy. I know that a lot of people use the Tarte Shape Tape as eyeshadow primer. I've used mine as that, but I still feel like the shape type is just a little bit too drying around my eye area. It looks thicker and that doesn't make the texture look so pretty. Um, but I did like the the clay version of this that came out, so I wanted to try this. And I have it on today. Um, I've been using it for the past three days, and it's got a nice creamy consistency. It holds the shadow really well for me, and I don't get any creasing. Um, I'm thinking that if you have an oilier eyelid, however, you're not going to like this guy, but a drier eyelid type will. Like I said, it's, it hasn't been drying out my eyelids, but it's been holding my shadow really well, but it has a slick texture to it. So it does have a little bit of... um color to it so it does put a little added coverage on the skin for the eyelid area to kind of even out the surface um, I just take my my finger and go like this on top and pat it on with my fingers how I've been using it but um, it 
it's got a really slick, thin, creamy consistency. You can almost feel a bit of hydration in there. Um, I think, did I see somebody, I feel like I read a review or something where somebody said this didn't hold their eyeshadow well at all and it creased on them, um, which makes me think that they probably had an oilier eyelid. I have got dry eyelids, so this has been working really well for me and I'm excited about it. <laughs> I also purchased two more of the Essence Precise Eyeliners, Long Lasting and Waterproof in Black. Um, I recently got this eyeliner at Ulta. These are the two new ones, so I'm not going to open it, but I'll swatch like the one that I've been using. Um, and I really like this. It's kind of replaced the NYX eyeliner that I've been wearing for a really long time. I think it wears a little bit more. It dries down a little bit more matte, and, and it looks just a little bit darker, like a more black black. <laughs> um, so it, and another thing that I really like is, is a nice amount of product comes out on a brush, a really fine brush tip applicator, which is my favorite type of liquid eyeliner. So it's got a nice brush on there and it's pretty dark and it dries to a, I think it dries to a nice matte black color. It doesn't turn gray or anything like that. So I've been really loving that and I purchased two more of those. Also from Ulta, I purchased the new Narcissist uh, Wanted One Cheek Palette. This is the one with the pinker shades. And I got this at Ulta. I had originally had it in my Sephora bucket and then I put it, I saw it was available on Ulta, save 20% and get the points. <laughs> so I switched it over and I really like this. I was able to swatch in store before I was able to order it and I was really excited to get my hand on it. I did use this highlighter uh, yesterday and it works out with like the deeper like foundation I've been wearing lately but it could be a little bit lighter for my skin tone but the sheen is really pretty and then you've got four matte blushes which are these two right here and then these two and then this one has got a really pretty peachy sheen to it yesterday I mixed these two shades together for a blush shade and it was just this really pretty shimmery coral really like this palette and I love this matte like purple pastel pink so pretty let's give me some swatches should I tell you how much product is in here I'll have to check the box because it's not on the back but oh I just I live for those baby pink purple colors I don't wear them so much nowadays as I used to but I still live for them <laughs> so those are the top three shades on the box it says net weight 0.13 ounces, 3.9 grams times 6. So I'm thinking there's 0.13 ounces per pan, which is a pretty decent amount of product in there. So let's swatch these guys. This one's matte, this one's shimmery, and then this one's matte. This is like a great travel palette with the pinks, the corals, the peaches. And then it's easy to just kind of mix the colors too if you want to switch them out, like lighten up this one with that guy or whatever. But really like this palette. I'm kind of tempted to get the other one even though the blush shades in there they are a little bit darker but there are some fun bright ones in there but I probably won't. <laughs> and then I purchased another one of the duo brush on strip lash adhesives in the dark tone. It's got a nice fine brush. It goes on the lash band of your lashes really well and it holds my lashes on for pretty much all day. It's just my favorite eyelash glue and it has such a ease of use to it so my other one is getting kind of dried out <laughs> so I decided to grab another one and then Stila came out with some new shades of their glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows I'm yet to try the face ones I want to try them but I'm just like I kind of want to swatch them in store before I order them <laughs> but I really love the glitter and glow eyeshadows um I'm wearing this one here in fairy tale dabbed over my eyelid over the palette that I'm going to show you next um they're just really easy to use glitter products with a they have a nice tint of color to them you can wear them you know by themselves or with other shadows this is the last step that I use when I use it I don't like to um, put it on prior to having to use a, a brush and blend otherwise you can get some glitter fallout if I use it as the last step in my eye look I usually don't have any glitter fallout on my face so I, I typically use them as toppers so this first one is called fairy tale and it's like a taupey brown with like gold and purple glitters in it it's just a really unique color Again, this is what I have tapped over my lid today. So that one is Fairy Tale. And then the other one is in the shade Perlina. And this one is like a, a white with pink and purple bluish uh, glitter sparkles in it. I have not worn this guy yet, but it's going to be a pretty one over like a, a, I think a duochrome purple eyeshadow. It's just going to really make it stand out. But that one is Perlina and that one is Fairy Tale from Stila. And then the last thing that I purchased from the Ulta sale is the 
uh, Dominique Cosmetics from Kristen Dominique, who's a YouTuber, um, her Latte palette. And I looked at this and looked at this and I was like, no, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> and then I watched a Chloe Morello video and she used this palette. And then I was just like, you know what? That's like the perfect like combination of colors. There's some fun in there. There's some really pretty metallic and there's quite a few mattes. So I went ahead and bought it and I'm super happy that I did. It's the eyeshadow that I have on my eyes today. And they blend it out really, really well. The shades are pigmented. They're pretty. The only thing was um, when you put your brush in there, there is a bit of kick up. And I had a little bit of fallout with the matte shades. Um, but the pigmentation and the blendability of them is really great. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure and a pretty good size mirror in there. And then there are 10 eyeshadows in here. There are three metallics, which are these guys. And then the rest of the seven, these two and the top row are all matte shades. Uh, the layout of it, the color tones and stuff is just like a, just she just did a really good job. Like I've got cold brew, pumpkin spice, caramel, vanilla cream, and I think I used all three of these um, metallic shades on my eyes today. There's just a nice array of depth for matte shades, transition shades, they got a good brow bone shade in there, some really pretty lid shades. I'm just really happy that I bought it. I didn't know quite, quite what to expect, but then when I got it, I was like, this is, this is really nice. <laughs> so let me go ahead and swatch the shades for you guys. The shadows are pretty big too. I'll tell you how much product is in there as well. I kind of wish that I've been getting used to some uh, brands making their shadows magnetic so you can remove them. That would have been nice, but these ones are in the sealed in the packaging. So those are the first three mattes. Each shadow is 1.8 grams. So pretty nice size uh, uh, in the shadows there. So let's get swatching some more. These are all the matte colors. They just, they're just very, very nice. And I just saw on Instagram that she's coming out with another palette called Lemonade. And I'm really excited to see what the colors are. I'm probably, I'm probably going to end up purchasing it because I really like this one. Then these three metallic shades, which are just really pretty. Super pretty colors. So that is the Latte palette from Dominique Cosmetics and Kristen Dominique, which I do, again, I have this palette on my eyes today. I really like how the shadow turned out. It reminds me of this um, old Bare Minerals quad that I used to wear a lot with a matte, like teal and a uh, pop of orange. I just really like the combination of the teal and orange together. So it kind of brought back some memories for me. <laughs> Now onto the things that I purchased from the Sephora VIB sale. Again, I do have an order on the way and I'm thinking I'll probably end up placing one more before the sale's over. <laughs> and I think I'm probably going to end up kind of stock up on this, this, pro this first product that I repurchased. And this is the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, not to be confused with the Aqua Balm, which is better for an oilier skin type. I have really dry skin. I've gone through several tubs of this. Stephanie Nicole turned me onto this. And this is a great moisturizer for dry skin. I like to mix like an, uh, an oil in with it and put it on as my last step during my skincare at night. And it just does a really good job of hydrating my skin. There's like zero irritation or anything like that. So I'm almost out of the jar that I'm using now. So I bought another one of those. And I think I'll probably purchase just one more. I wish they had that giant tub in stock, but it's sold out. This is the 1.68 fluid ounce jar. And then I had seen this next product mentioned in a couple different people's videos. And then when uh, Stephanie Nicole again did her... VIB recommendations video she brought this up so I was like I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy it <laughs> and this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask this is what the packaging looks like it comes in a this is a lot of product that you're getting I think it was $20 um, without the sale so there's 0.7 ounces it's gonna last forever ton of product um, I've been stuck on the Paula's Choice lip balm for years I've tried several other lip balms like the by Terry I'm having problems with this hair here <laughs> the ba the by Terry the Dior Rose I've tried some really expensive lip balms um, and I just keep going back to the Paula's Choice so I wasn't quite sure what to expect with this guy. I've been wearing it at night for the, since I've got it which would be the past three nights and this is a very very nice lip product. I put it on during the day too. When I was looking in the mirror the other day I was like looking at and I was thinking maybe it was the lipstick or whatever but I was like no something looks a little different. My lips looked a little bit more 
uh, hydrated than normal and I was like I wonder what uh, I've been wearing that lip mask at night and so I think I really do think that this has something to do with it <laughs> my lips have been really hydrated it has warmed up we're in the 60s today so that could be a factor as well we're out of the polar plunge <laughs> so anyway I really have been enjoying this though this is a nice nice lip product I've, I, li I like this better than the by Terry bombed rose or the Dior one that I've tried um, it, it hasn't gone ahead of Paula's Choice just yet because I need to use it a little bit more, but I think it's going to give Paula's Choice Lip Balm a run for its money. So that's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I also stocked up on the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. This here has been my go-to moisturizer, daytime moisturizer with SPF for a very long time. I've gone through so many bottles of this and then I had seen that it was out of stock on Sephora for a long time and I kind of got freaked out that it was being discontinued, but I think they did a, a slight reformulation. Um, it still feels the same to me and they came out with it in a bigger bottle. This is a six fluid ounce bottle, so I, I got the big guy. My dog's barking because my brother just came over. <laughs> This moisturizer for me is super, super hydrating for my dry skin. I love it for a daytime moisturizer. Um, if you have an oilier skin type, it might not be for you. It does have a slight um, white cast, but there's a tinted version. I use that one as well. Like today, I mixed this one with my tinted version. And um, once you pat it in, the cast kind of goes away for me at least. So this has been my fave for a long time, and I'm happy that I, they got it in a great big jug because I do go through the two fluid ounce uh, bottles relatively quickly. Quite a few repurchases. Um, I did get another one of the Guerlain Meteorite Pearls in number two, Claire. There's point, point 0.88 ounces of product in here. I'd run out of mine like three months ago or so, and in the interim, I've just been kind of rotating through different um, limited edition versions that I had. And you know what? I really miss having the originals. I think that I really enjoy using the limited edition ones too. Some of them have a lot more sparkle in them and stuff. This one is more like a satin matte type of powder, um, but I think that this original version is just my favorite. I know they used to be come in a 1.05 ounce tin and they've, you know, the product that you get now in the uh, reformulated change packaging is less, but I still love them nonetheless. I use this as a finishing powder as the very last step after I put on my face makeup. So um, foundation, blush, highlighter, all of, all of that, concealer, all of that, this is the very last step. And I typically use it on a large, um, powder brush. This is a, a Chikahoto powder brush and I just sweep it over the skin. It just, it really blends everything together so nicely and um, I don't know if I run out of these again before the sale. I don't know if I can wait three months again before I get them. I think I'll probably just have to bite the bullet. <laughs> so well, that's why I hadn't repurchased them for that long because I was waiting for the sale. So if you don't know what they look like, here is the tin and then it comes with these little balls of pearls. I like to shake the tin up to get more powder on my brush because uh, the powder brush that I use is so soft and I want it to be soft because I don't want it to disturb the makeup too much but I do want to blend it together but it's too soft to kind of grind on the pearls to pick up product so I like to shake the tin up and this does have a pretty strong violet smell which I love and I saw in their summer I think it's either the spring summer collection they're coming out with another version of the pearls but they're also coming out with the Guerlain Meteorites fragrance and I cannot wait I do have a fragrance from Anik Goutal which is a French brand. It's called La Voilette. This is a very, very similar smell to the pearls, so I'm interested to see because I will <laughs> I will be purchasing the Guerlain Meteorites fragrance, so I'm interested to compare this fragrance with um, the Guerlain fragrance. This is what, you can see what it's called right there. This is a beautiful, beautiful smell. So good. I hadn't realized they had these up on the Ulta website, otherwise I would have, would have probably purchased it from Ulta instead, but I got one of the new NARS highlighting powders, and I got the shade Capri. It, it was the lightest, pinkiest tone one. Um, Albatross, I think, is lighter, but it's got a really strong gold undertone. Um, so I went with Capri, and there's 0.49 ounces of product in this guy, which is a ton. It's got the standard NARS, like, grippy packaging to it. Um, this was really, really underwhelming for me. It, it could be a little bit brighter on my skin tone, but like it was just really lackluster. It reminded me of a highlighter that I purchased at the drugstore that, I mean, would it highlight? Yeah, but it wasn't like one of those real bright, stark highlights, which, you know, some people do like. So if you like a subtle sheen to your cheeks that really kind of blends in more naturally, you might really like this formula. But for me, with what I've been wearing nowadays, like I'm obsessed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi highlighter. That's what I have on my cheeks today. I love it. Like when you compare 
the two highlighters, this one just kind of doesn't hold a candle to that one for me. But again, if you like a subtle highlighter, real subtle um, skin tone highlighter, you might really like this. This is the shade again, Capri. It's just not, it's just not doing it for me. Let me do a blend out too. And I like had to pack it on, but I didn't realize how many repurchases I had until I started filming this video, but <laughs> I purchased another one of the Tata Harper Clarifying Spot Solutions. This here is just my favorite spot solution. I put it on any like type of blemishes I might have before I go to bed. And ever since, I don't know if it's because I did a little bit of switching up with my skincare or if the weather's gotten nicer, but my skin has really been being good to me lately. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite spot treatment. It kind of conceals the redness a little bit too, which is nice. So, you know, when you like wash your face off and put your products on or whatever, and you see a, like a redness from a spot and stuff, and it's just kind of annoying. I put this on, it kind of conceals it a little bit to make my skin look more even. Uh, it just makes me happy that it does that. <laughs> but I do feel like it helps draw um, the blemish to the surface of the skin so that it goes away faster and I really like it. Um, it comes in a little tube like this. I do go through these relatively quickly. There's 0.33 fluid ounces of product. Um, it is a little expensive I guess for as much product as you're getting and I go through them pretty quick but I do think the results that I get is worth the money. And then the other product that is again a repurchase, I got another one of the Givenchy Cold Couture Waterproof Eyeliners in the shade Jade, which is my most used. I've got several of these Givenchy eyeliners and I really like them all, but the shade that I wear the most is the shade in Jade. This is the one that I'm currently uh, using oddly enough I don't have this one on today <laughs> but I wear this a ton on the waterline it doesn't irritate my eyes it doesn't flake off into my eye and it lasts really really well and I just I think the color like the green the green particular shade of green <laughs> that this is really brings out my eye color and I think it's really pretty uh, one of my favorite liners for the waterline for sure then the brand Pretty Vulgar released a few more of their Shimmering Swan highlighters and I got the shade in Lilac Lust 128. Um, this is like that eyeshadow that I'm obsessed with that has like the blue undertone to it. This for me is, I don't think I can pull this off as a highlighter on the top of my cheeks. I think I can mix this in with a blush or use it as a blush because it's it's just too dark and a little bit too much for a highlight on top, but I think I can make it work buffed into the cheeks. And if that fails, then I have a very large eyeshadow of the type of color that is one of my favorites. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about uh, like hitting pan and in a few of my palettes where I, I go to this type of shade the most because I've got a giant pan of it. So if it doesn't work out as a like a blush for me that's what I'd use it for but oh god it's so pretty. This is one of my favorite like eyeshadow shades. I haven't you know what I, I haven't bit the bullet and put it on my face yet. Tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> but I had to have it. Isn't that beautiful? It is so pretty. So, so pretty. So that is from Pretty Vulgar in 128 Lilac Lust. Right there. Ugh. And then lastly from the sales thus far, <laughs> I purchased one of the new Kevin Aqua the Neo Blush. And the shade that I got is in Pink Sand. This is one of those gradient uh, type of products that he's been coming out with for quite a while now. This one is a so called a Soft Dusty Pink. There's point, .2 ounces of product in here and it comes in a hard plastic packaging. This is what I have on my cheeks today as a blush. I kind of concentrated my, my brush in this section right here. What I really like about the Neo Neo products from Kevin Aquan is they're really versatile, like kind of like I paint. So like when sometimes when I put my makeup on, I put it on like I'm painting, which kind of I am. <laughs> but it, it makes me feel like, you know, I can just go in and get different tones of the color. There, this side right here has got some shimmer to it. This side is more of like a satin matte. And then in the middle, you can get a little bit of both. I really like this. I'm tempted. There's two other shades on the website that I'm tempted to get while the sale is going on because I really, really like this one. Again, this is what I have on my cheeks today. So let's go see if this works here. So you can see the gradient right there. That didn't work out so well. So we'll go like this. Just 
super soft, blends out on the skin really nice. There's the shades, kind of the three, and then let me mix them together for you. I really, really like it. Probably going to end up purchasing at least one more shade. So that's the shade Pink Sand. So that's everything from the Sephora sale so far and then also the things that I purchased during the Ulta 20% off sale. I still have a bunch of other stuff that I purchased that wasn't pertaining to the sales uh, to haul. So maybe I'll film another haul tomorrow and I still have that empties video to film. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm slacking. Like I said, I don't know where time goes. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.